I think we found something spooky. What is it? Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I finally made it back to the Bottle Hunting Creek looking for antique bottles. It's uh, It's been a while since I've been here. But today's video is going to be a little bit of a hybrid because I've had like a few trips out here that haven't been super successful. So I came out here one day recently for like 30 minutes. Creek was still a little bit too flooded and I did find one cool bottle. So I'm going to show you that clip in today's video as well. And then I also came out here with Derek the Rockmaster. You've seen him in other videos before. Came out with Derek recently and we walked a while and found some cool stuff as well that day. So I'm going to add that footage to today's video as well. And then whatever I find today, I don't have a whole lot of time. The sun is going to be going down pretty soon but I had to get out of the house and look for something. So enjoy the video. First, let's check out some of the stuff with Derek. <laughs> <laughs> well, there right there is what you don't want to see, but it's what you do want to see if it was complete. Part of a straight side Coca-Cola bottle. This one is very busted up, sadly, but cool to see and know they're around. Look, look, Derek. Look what, what we we've got, found. What do we, got? we have found it. Oh, yes. We have found the best thing. We found a boombox. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man, what's the, what tunes are in there right now? Give it a listen. Hmm. All right, ready? Oh man, oh man, that's a good song. Wow. Oh, dude, dude, that's legit. Look at this. It's turned Derek, the rock master, into Derek, the dance master. Look at him. A dancing, a listening. Oh yeah. Alrighty, got a one right there, and it looks like, oh, it looks like, ooh, it's all busted at the top. Look at that, though. Ocala Bottling Works, property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Ocala, Florida, and it's busted at the top. Dang it! So I could say this would be a good drinking glass, but there's a big old crack through there, so that wouldn't work either. It's still cool. It might actually display pretty good on that side anyways. What y'all think lives in there? Probably the Swamp Children. Derek got a cool find right here. That's always exciting. A nice marble. Oh man, that one's pretty. Dude, check that out. Oh, it does look like an agate, as Derek said. That thing's gorgeous, man. Look at that marble. Marbles are exciting. I don't know why, but they're exciting. Good, good find. Thank you. Yes. All right, they see part of something sticking out right here. And... Oh, dang it, that's all destroyed. That's a really good Coke bottle. It's a 1915. Yep, 1915 Coke. You look right here. November 16th, 1915. Aren't, they, aren't those like rare bottles? Yep, that's a rare one, but it's a destroyed, so. Oh, <sighs> Kyle, I think we found something spooky. What is it? <laughs> oh my gosh, wait. Ah. I found one just like this before. It might be the same one. <laughs> oh, dang. Derek. Derek. Oh god, look at the water coming Look at the water going. Oh my goodness. Oh. That Derek, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Derek. I, I hope we, I think we opened up a curse or something like that. Derek, look at Derek, He's, he can't even speak. Ah! I always say I'm gonna keep a bunch of these beautiful pottery pieces and make something out of them one day, but I never end up keeping enough, so I'm trying to hold myself accountable. Look how pretty that piece right there is. I'm definitely going to throw that in the pocket and use it for something one of these days. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Y'all see. I will do it. Man, check this out right here. Almost had me. That's literally a straight side Coke. But the top, the top is literally destroyed. And I don't think this is going to be a good drinking glass one because the script is so high. Dang it, man. Well, we'll pull it out of the creek anyways and get it out of here. Still, still cool to see and very pretty. There we go, right there. That's a cool piece of old pottery to throw in the collection to make something with one day. Look at that old building on there. Oh man, that's a cool piece. It's beautiful. Very cool. 
Okay, now I'm gonna show you the clip of that one nice bottle I found recently when I came out here for just a short time. It's pretty cool, check it out. All right, everybody, this is literally the first thing I'm seeing, and I might have already found a really, really cool embossed bottle. I see it's cobalt blue, I see embossing on it. I bet you it's gonna be a big Bromo seltzer. Actually, I'm looking at it right now and I can literally read the words. It's a big, giant, nice cobalt blue Bromo seltzer. Check that out. Oh man, that thing is in great condition too. Oh, it's so blue. That blue is so gorgeous. Bromo seltzer, Emerson Drug Company, Baltimore, Maryland. I've never found one that size before, so that's pretty exciting for me. I know they're common and stuff, but that's a big one. Usually I find those little tiny ones. Oh no! Is it a crack in there? No, I think that's a root. All right. Awesome way to start the day right there. Let's keep looking. All right, guys. Thanks for bearing with me through all this. Now, let's see what we're going to find today, right now. Let's get to walking. This right here looks like a bit older, doesn't it? Look at that top. Yeah, it's an old cork top. Nothing embossed on it. Anything on the bottom? Maybe some letters and numbers. Could have been a big shoe polish bottle, maybe something like that. Either way, pretty cool, older bottle. I'll take it. And I like to see that right there too. Check that out. That, my friends, is part of a straight side Coke. It looks like it says property of Coca-Cola Bottling Company along the bottom there. Sadly, very destroyed, but a good sign. The always exciting VHS tape. Let's see if she still has a label. Aw, oh, man. We'll never know. Ew, oh. We'll never know what it was. Perhaps it was Billy Madison or Jurassic Park. Who knows? Now that's the kind of treasure I was hoping to find right there. <laughs> How long has it been since y'all seen a little phone like this? Is this a walkie-talkie? Is this a cell phone or a walkie-talkie? Just talk. I bet that's not an actual cell phone. That's yeah, got to be a walkie-talkie. Or it's pretty ancient. <laughs> that's funny. Well, if anybody's in need of a chair, I got gotcha. you. It, it could be cleaned up. Probably smells really bad. <laughs> I wish I could haul it out of the creek, but that would be a task for another day. I'm getting in a little section of creek where you really, really got to look at the bank hard. Because see all this stuff kind of eroding out of the bank? Like literally right there is part of a straight side Coca-Cola bottle. And this looks like top of some sort of cork bottle, another top of a Coke or something, all these old bricks. Oh, that worm is weird. This is a gust of block on it. There's another part of a straight side Coke over there. So this spot is usually uh, everything is busted up, but it's nice to come here after a rain just to check the bank, just in case something nice is washing out. Yeah, this is kind of neat sitting up on the side. I believe there's an animal hole right there. I believe that's what dug this out on these little jars. Probably a ponds one or something like that. That's a pretty nice looking one. I could get it cleaned up and put something in it or give it to somebody, so I'll pull that out of here. I got very excited for a moment to find that this is all completely broken at the top. It's a 1915 hobble skirt Coca-Cola. Would have been an absolutely beautiful one, almost perfect if it weren't for that top. One of these days I'm going to find one of these complete. Haven't yet, but it'll happen, I hope. So, either the water just happened to get to the right depth to drop that lighter off right there, or someone left it there. But it looks to me like it was actually the water. Look at all the sticks and stuff right there, too. Kind of strange how it got perfectly placed. Weird. Okay, keep walking. All right, I see a few bits of bottles sticking out right here. But the question is, are they going to be what I'm looking for? I'm going to go after this one first. Feels like a drinking glass. <laughs> and sure enough, it was a drinking glass. I don't think that's very old at all. Set that to the side. Now the base of this guy looks older. So let's pull that out. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, that is way old. 
but it's unembossed. But holy moly, that's an old one. Oh, it's got a pretty cool symbol on the bottom there. Dang it, man. Why isn't that embossed? That's blown in a mold. That's an old one right there. Must have been some sort of soda water. Maybe something like that. What's that symbol on the bottom there? Anybody recognize that? That's kind of cool. Very beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. We said that there for now. And what's this right here? Oh, this feels complete too. Oh, man. Oh, this one's embossed. Oh, check that out. It says Gainesville, Florida on it. Property of Coca Cola Bottling Company with Gainesville, Florida at the top, and it's perfect. Oh, man, that's super nice. Check that out. Oh, it's a really nice purple to it, too. I gotta get some of that sand out of there. Hold on. Get some of that sand out. Get out of there, sand. All right, I went ahead and got both of these cleaned up. This one, so you can see that nice blue on there. Totally sad that this one's unembossed. Really cool bottle, but I'm going to hold on to it anyways because I think it's very pretty. A lot of other uses for it. And then this one right here, it's got Gainesville, Florida right there at the top. Registered 7 ounce, property of Coca-Cola. So I don't know if this one was actually straight side Coke. Normally they say it on there. So this could have been some other type of soda beverage. But look at that. It's got a little bit of a purple tint to it. And this thing's in incredible condition. There's literally no cracks or anything on there at all. That is a very exciting find right there. I found them of this variety before, but they're always a little busted up. So nice to have a nice lavender one to add to the collection. All right, y'all, it's getting late and the Skeeters are out in full force. So I'm gonna be heading home. All right, I have safely made it home. Oh my. Goodness, it followed me.